hey what's up this is how I do black oxide coating this is what I started with this is how it ended up I had five bolts it's really six five and then plus one more so that little extra one I did it with a wire wheel cleaned it off when you're using a grinder always wear gloves the other five bolts, I, I sandblasted them. I sped this video up, but total time in there is about three minutes. This is one of those Harbor Freight sandblasters. They're about 150 bucks. I use it all the time. A lot of people complain about it. I have made some small upgrades to it, but the biggest thing is just making sure you have a lot of compressed air. Really, the only other thing you need is a torch and... and a bucket of used motor oil. I also made these little Easter egg carriers out of some stainless, but I'm going to say that these are optional because, I mean, you could just drop them in there and fish them back out. Okay, so basically all you do here is you heat the bolts up and then you drop them in the oil and then repeat. As far as how hot to get the bolts, they'll change colors twice. I tried to video it, but it was hard for me to capture it. But when you first put the torch on it, they'll make a, a change almost immediately. And then probably another three to five seconds, you'll see another temperature change or another color change. And if you shoot it with a temp gun, it's probably around 400 degrees or a little less. And then just drop them in. I let them sit there. I was doing several bolts so they could sit in there for a little while and cool off. And then I'd pull them back out and repeat. I think I heated them up and dropped them in the oil three different times. A little bit about the motor oil. So it's just used motor oil from changing the oil on a car. But if you have some motor oil that's from a diesel, it's probably better from what I understand. The higher the carbon, the better it's going to be. If you'll notice too that the stainless bolt holders, they'll start to glow. But the bolt itself doesn't. I, it's probably not a good idea to get the bolt so hot that it actually turns cherry red which is kind of hard to do anyway with a propane torch. It just doesn't get hot enough. After the last round, I just dumped them out on a paper towel. These bolts, they're not hot anymore. So that goes back to when you select your container, something metal, you wouldn't want to use plastic and something that's fairly big. You wouldn't want to use a coffee cup or something that's that just didn't hold a lot of motor oil because maybe they wouldn't be able to cool off i put the bolt holders back in the can for safekeeping dried everything off with the paper towel and this is what i ended up with and here i zoomed in on one and then this is the bolt that i wired wheeled it's not in good shape, so I'm not going to use it for anything. It was just for the video. The end.